This presentation by Excellent Solutions will demonstrate how a part number generation tool can be configured into EPDM. It will allow the user to pick a prefix value and get the next available sequential number for that prefix. We start off with a new part in SolidWorks. When we perform a save on it, we will get prompted with the add-in to pick a prefix and get the next sequential value for that prefix as the file name. When we save it, the data card comes up and that part number also gets put into the part number field. We'll now check in and close this file. And do the same process on, a new, on another file. We save it. Pick the prefix. Get the next value in the sequential order and hit save. Again, the part number is put into the part number field. We will check in and close the file. And now we will demonstrate how non-SolidWorks files can also be added and have the part number generation tool used on them. We take a part or a file and put it into EPDM. When we do that, the data card now has a part number button. Clicking on it allows you again to pick the prefix and hitting OK, you get the next sequential value for that prefix. We'll save the file and check it in. Notice the file name and the part number are different. When we check it in, we get prompted if we want the file name to match the part number. Hitting yes, the part number and the file name are the same. Thank you for the presentation. If you have any questions regarding this add-in or EPDM in general, feel free to contact XLM Solutions per the information on the screen.